Jennifer, along with my sometimes co-host, Donnie. That's me. <laughs> I see he didn't catch it because he's not even paying attention. But <laughs> I heard the sometimes co-host. I heard it. I'm trying to ignore it, okay? All right. Before we can get into this show, here's Donnie with his disclaimer. Kids, if you're not 21 or drinking age in the United States of America, um, in other states, in countries, in other places, um, just go to bed because we don't want you watching this show because you're not of age. So, as we start the show... <laughs> Class is in session. You I never think, let me get a word in edgewise. I think they get it. If they're under 21 or under drinking age, they can't watch the show. So... In what, in what countries? You know, I'm, you know what? USA. So, <laughs> last week we brought you uh, beers from the West Coast, which is the best coast, I think. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So, this episode, we're heading all the way to the East Coast and going to bring you some beers from New York City. New York. New York City! Brooklyn, New I'm York. thinking of the commercial. Yeah. Pace, yeah. son. So, <laughs> so, so, we need to get back in the New York groove here. If, by the way, does anybody know? It actually in the comments. In the comments, no. if you can name that song back in the New York groove. Uh, well, we'll send you a couple stickers. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, if you can name that song, must who that band is that must, sings that. Must be an oldie. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, lady. I don't think I've ever even heard of it. Song Back in the New York Groove. You can name the <laughs> artist who sings Back in the New York Groove. We'll send you a couple stickers. How's that sound? So... Anyway, <laughs> we're starting out here. Yeah, what you got? Let's go. With Kings County Brewing Collective. Oh, fancy. They call it a collective. Fancy. In New York. What a, <laughs> who, yeah, was that another new voice I heard here? Fancy. <laughs> fancy for us West Coast beer reviewers over here. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on here? Gotta entertain you somehow. What's going on? I don't know. It's too much beer. <laughs> so anyway, this one's called Beat Zombies Sour. Again, out of Brooklyn, New York. These are all out of New York. This is a four ABV. It's got uh, four IBU. Ooh, only a four. Thank goodness. Uh, it is a kettle sour with Pilsner malt, flaked wheat, strawberry, and guava. So, tasting notes, sour tart, fresh, what does that say? Uh, anyway, fruity, lime, and sweet. <laughs> I can't read my own notes, sorry. Yeah. So anyway, on Untapped, this raised a 4.01 4 and has 3,800 check-ins. That's quite a bit. Yeah. So I you ready to do this? Maybe. Oh. That's a funky mixture of flavors. What is that? I have no idea. I like it though. Strawberry guava. It's it's got to be the guava that's making it have like a. Uh... It's a different flavor of a sour that definitely I've ever had. definitely gives a a back end flavor of I I'm I'm gonna say that's the guava that's making it taste that way. Um, because the, the, the Pilsner malt would make it taste that way. Flaked wheat, no. It's got to be the strawberry guava. Like, it's, it's that strawberry guava on the back end. I like it, though. It's actually very easy to drink. It's different. It's not that bad. It's different. It's a different mixture of flavors. Most guava, I would say, I'm usually turned off to. This particular one... Because it definitely is that guava taste, but it's a smooth guava. I like it. I like it a lot. That's, this is really good. Um, yeah. Once again, this is it's beef zombie sour, um, but wow, this is this is actually very good. It's good. It's 
light. It's very light. Not there. <clears throat> the cam is interesting. It's a badass cam right there. Yeah, it's got that. Looks like a kind of a zombie is coming out of the beach. Zombie coming out of the beach. <laughs> That's what you like, like when you come out of the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Have your little floaty device on, because you, ne you would never go in the water. See, it has the ring thing. <laughs> <laughs> that is you when you come out of the water. Because you're like, damn it, she made me go in the water again. She won't go. Well, I truly won't go in the water without floaties, so. Fine, I'll say that's kinda... what you look like when you get out of the bathtub. With <laughs> your floaty on. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, what, what do you have lady? next? <laughs> Can't take it back now. I already said it. What you gonna do? Can we just put a curtain right here, <laughs> right in between us, like right here somewhere? <laughs> we can have our own show. <laughs> See who watches who more. <laughs> so we're moving on to. Garby's Point Craft Brewery. They're out of Glen Cove, New York. So this one is called Cast Astray, but, and it's a D-I-P-A. What's that? Devil Indian Pale Ale. <laughs> India Pale Ale. India Indian. <laughs> So, got the anyway. majority of it right. You got, she got it. She got it right. So, Whatever. um, with this one though, it's a single hop, double IPA. Simcoe hop. <laughs> See, I'm smart. I know my hey, ears. Are you? Are you saying things before I get to them now? Is that what's happening here? I am now. <laughs> so. Just pretending like I'm smart. <laughs> You're going to hide your card. So, I can't even read your card. This is an 8.2 ABV. The IBU is not uh, said here. Uh, it's an imperial double. Uh, tasting notes. Smooth citrus, piney, mouthful, hazy, and resinous. So on untap, this rates a 4.11. Wow, really? With 453 check-ins. So, I'm going to pour this. I should have been pouring this to begin with. Yep. No comment over there. Yep. See, he can't do more than one thing at a time. He cannot multitask. We're not going to go into faults here, okay? Gonna we're not, we're not going to go into that right today. <laughs> Maybe on, we'll make that a separate show. We can just tell each other each other's faults. It'd be a long ass show. <laughs> That'd be a long show. <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's see. Uh, eh, kind of, sort of. That's that's good enough there. Um, as you can see, it's a, it is a little bit hazy. Um, would I consider that myself hazy? Yeah. I would. I would normally like to see a little bit more powdery in that but since it is a single hop hazy or what they consider a hazy i'll go with that i'll go with that color it looks all right hazy to me so put that up there and uh and i, I can tell you simcoe is one of my favorite hops so it's a single hop well i don't like any hops so beer so but one thing about one thing about Simcoe is a lot of people, or I should say a lot of brewers say it smells like cat pee. Does it smell like cat pee to you? It does smell like the pine. I don't. I don't get the see, I've never pine. gotten that. I've never gotten that out of that. I, I catch clean pine is what I get. Pine, cat pee, pine, <laughs> cat pee, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever, lady. <laughs> Jeez. Three more shows okay. to go. Three more to go. Drink your cat pee, lady. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to make me spin it out. Yeah, that's some good cat pee there. Yeah, that's very good. Nope. 
you know. Not oh, my wow. I need to be careful on that. That's an 8.2. Not my style of beer. Yeah, this is an 8.2. That was an 8.2, so i got to be careful on that one. I'll be really careful in drinking, not spilling anything. But I'm going to pour just a little bit more so you can still kind of compare the colors. Compare the colors of the beers there. <clears throat> Our last one that we're going to do for the evening is also from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, this is Other Half Brewing. This is called Equal Parts. And this is actually a series of beer. Um, equal Parts means that they use two different hops and you want to read my notes lady is that what you're doing right now i could see you trying trying to because i was going to say what hops they were (laughs) mosaic and matika i don't know so as she's reading my notes we're going to set this here uh, this is a 6.3 ABV. So kind of that's kind of standard for this type of drink here. Tasting notes, citrus, light, creamy, smooth, and definitely with the Motuka hops, dank. So you had a little bit of dankness in the San Diego show. New which, York is giving me more dankness. Which was uh, the North Park. Remember the North Park? Dank incantation. Dank, dank, dank. Yeah. Yes. So, anyway, on Untapped, this rates a 4.06 with 798 check-ins. <laughs> Are we not waiting anymore? What the heck's going on here? Nah, you talk too long. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I waited too long. So, it's... Yeah, I, I catch a little bit of the dankness off the top. You can't do those kinds of beers. <clears throat> that is that is a super smooth beer. It's smooth, wow. but I just this is um. Nope. <clears throat> uh, one of one of the guys that I follow on a uh, Untapped. He's a he's a moderator. He, he always raves about this brewery, and anytime I see it on uh, Tavor, I I tend to get it. Mm-hmm. And I know why, because, man, this is this is really good, it's, you know. It's good, it's just... It's, it's, kind, and it's kind of a mixture. It's, you got that citrusy feel from the mosaic. And it's clean. Yeah, tropical, but then you have the motuka, which gives you that little bit of dankness, like... Uh, like a little resinous on your tongue, you know. Um, yeah. So. It's just not my style. But, uh-huh. yeah, I'll give it a clean. Clean light. Really good. This is, and look at look at the difference in color. You can see, I'm going to put this right above there so you can see the, the difference, well, which is technically this one. But just looking at the difference in color, I can tell, like, You've got a little bit more in this one, which technically, I don't know. This is, this is, I don't know how to explain it other than it's just a nice mixture of uh, tropical and resinous dank. Really good. So if he can't explain it and you can find it, then you're going to have to try it for yourself. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to have a hard time finding this anywhere here in California. We're on the West Coast, by the way, for those of you who don't know followers from all over so. yeah we're on the west coast so anytime we can get something out of the ordinary like this other half um the kings um sometimes we we get toppling you know decora iowa um doro florida you know with uh, tripping, tripping animals, animals. We we definitely try to get your beers here on the West Coast, and uh, you know we, we try to feature them. And in this case right here, this is absolutely outstanding. I I, I love this. Anything I've had from other half, outstanding. I, I don't even have to second guess buying it, which she doesn't like, because on Tavor 
anytime this shows up, I'm grabbing max amount. I mean, that's just the way that brewery is. So were all these beers from Tabor? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, um, other half was from Tavor. This was probably from Mr. K's or Eminem, which is the Kings County. And then, uh, actually, this was from Tavor also. So, um, just wondering. Yeah, the, the Kings County is and you see this quite often which i know every brewery uh, not every brewery every liquor store that specializes in craft beer more than likely is going to carry some version of king's county um just whether it be an ipa or a uh sour something but and it's, it'll actually say this on the front, too, the, uh, the KCBC on the front, just to, to so you know. Okay. And so what is K? So now we know. I don't so know KCBC what KCBC stands for. County Brewing Company. <clears throat> what? I'm just throwing you, throwing you a bone. Well, I know you're throwing my bone. I'm trying to make me stupid. You're stupid over there. You do. You do. <laughs> Are you done? Oh yeah, I'm so done. I can that I'm point. done having some fun. <laughs> yeah, so I can finish that with some business. All right, we want you to be on our podcast. If you're an artist, a musician, a brewery, or an average Joe, we'd love to have you showcase your talent. Uh, do an episode exclusive of just your beers here or in the studio. Or on location, or if you're an average Joe, you can sit up here with us and just try the beers that we're trying and, you know, give your input. It's always a fun time, and hey, you get free beer. So, also make sure you guys are subscribed on YouTube, and, you know, click the bell so you get notified of our weekly episodes that get released. Also make sure you are following on Instagram and Facebook. And we're now on TikTok. Yes, TikTok, but we haven't done any videos, so we will get to that. Yeah, you don't want to see him on that, but uh, <laughs> anyways, that's all I got for now. Oh, okay. So. That's your part. So I guess that's it for New York. New York, you know? New York. And by the way, again, if you could tell me who the band is what? back in the New York groove, and our artist, hey, you'll get two free stickers sent to you. Just uh, put the title in there, and we'll <laughs> send you the stickers. As we end this class, we mm. want you to raise your glass <laughs> and cheers. Cheers. Cheers, New York. See you next time, New York. Good beers, man.